Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to explain how liquidations work when trading futures. Now this video is on futures trading only and not on margin trading as I've already made a video on that. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link down in the video description. So basically, if you didn't already know, liquidation is when your assets are sold off and this happens when the value of your assets become the same value of your debt. So in other words, if you had $100 of assets and also $100 of debt, your assets of $100 would be sold off to cover your debt of $100. So let's say as an example, you have $100 and you enter a 10x leveraged position. What this basically means is that your assets are now worth $1,000, which is the $100 times 10. And your debt is the $900, which is the $1,000 worth of assets minus your own $100 that you put in. So this would mean that liquidation would happen if the value of the coins that you have goes to $900. Basically, the asset to debt ratio then becomes one to one, which is the $900 of assets and the $900 of debt. But keep in mind that each exchange has their own margin or the amount of collateral requirements. And this may very well depend on what you're trading. You just want to make sure that you know what these margin requirements are on the exchange that you're using to trade on. But as an example, if we look at Binance, they have this table over here and basically it tells you the amount of leverage or your position size, the margin rate and the maintenance margin rate after your positions. So if we use this table over here that Binance has put out, we can figure out how much you would need to maintain, which is basically your initial amount times your leverage times your margin requirement percentage. So using the previous example, of the $100 at 10x leveraged, this means that you're going to have to have a margin maintenance of $2, which is the $100 times 2%, as you can see from their table over here, which is the 2% for this sort of sized position, which is between zero and $5,000. And what this means is that if you lose $98, which is the $100 minus the margin maintenance of $2 on your position, Position, then you're going to get liquidated. Now this should make sense because if you only have $100 and the value of your assets go to 98, there's going to be a little bit of a margin of safety to pay for any extra fees associated with your position. So that's why it's not exactly 100, it would be 98. So therefore, if the value of your assets goes to $902, which is the $1,000 minus the 98, then you're going to be liquidated and you're pretty much left with nothing. Now let's use another example of you have $5,000 and you enter a 20x leveraged position. Basically this means that you now have assets that are worth $100,000 which is the 5,000 times the 20 and your debt is $95,000 which is the assets that you have minus the amount that you actually put in. So of this over here only 95,000 is the debt. So this means that you will have to have a margin maintenance of at least $200, which is the $5,000 times the 4% according to that table. So this will mean that if you lose $4,800 on your position, which is the $5,000 that you initially put in minus the margin maintenance requirement of $200, then you're going to get liquidated on your position. And again, I hope that makes sense to you because what happens is you only have $5,000 and the amount of the assets is getting close to this $5,000 and Binance or whichever exchange wants to make sure that you've got enough to pay off your outstanding debt. So that's why they'll liquidate you just slightly above a one-to-one -one asset to debt ratio. Now, one last thing that I do want to say is that these numbers in this video aren't exact. So Binance actually has liquidation prices that are slightly lower. So as an example, over here in this picture, which was taken from their calculator, if you had, let's just say $5,000 that you put into a position and then you went 10x and you bought one Bitcoin at $50,000, really you should be getting liquidated at 
$45,200. So your liquidation price would be a little bit above this in theory, according to what Binance has on that chart. But when looking at this on their calculator, this number here is just slightly below what's listed on that table that I just showed you before. So just kind of keep in mind that these numbers that I used in this video aren't exact, but should give you a general idea of how liquidations work when trading futures. So basically what you'll want to do is to make sure that you keep your eyes out on the margin requirement amount. You'll want to make sure that the value of your assets are much greater than the margin maintenance rate requirement. So yeah, that's pretty much how liquidations work when you are trading on futures. And again, you'll want to double check with whichever exchange that you're using to trade futures on to ensure that you meet their margin maintenance percentage or amount. Otherwise, you're going to get liquidated. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in receiving the most relevant and up-to-date content in the Canadian crypto space, check out www.cryptoforcanadians.ca. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.